okay so let's go ahead and create a play button right here so in the selection canvas let's create a UI button let's name this as play button then in here we will type play click on the play button let me simply remove the background okay then click on this text let's just make the font size 50 make it bold let's go inside the scene view okay and go inside 2d mode okay so that you can see the button clearly select the whole play button and let's now resize it okay there it is so you have the play button now what we want to do we want to make it fully black okay let me actually click that and select the color as similar to our buttons let's select the font which is space age okay and let's select the whole play button and change its transform to bottom center okay in the scene view let's move it a little bit up here let's see it on the maximum screen okay here it is the play button now let's just actually add a shadow to the text so let's add a component which is by the name of shadow let's make the effect distance x as 5 and the y as minus 5 okay and make it fully black like that now if we see it okay here is our beautiful play button now right here inside this car selection after this switch car let's create a public void okay and let's name this method as play game in here we will say player refs dot set integer and what this player pref means this is actually a class which stores player preferences between game sessions okay it can store string float integer values into the user platform registry so if the game if the player closes the game or you can say if the game crashes and we want to store the some important checkpoints in our game okay so for that purpose we use the player preps for now we want to store the selected car okay the previously selected car of the player so that's why we are using player preps dot set int which is set integer so now if the player selected the first car second one or third one we will store that inside our player preps and then if the player just simply close the application or if the application crashes then when the player start the game again it will be still selected the previous car so in here we will say car selected and then let's pass our current car so now inside this player prep we have stored our current car which the player selects okay and after this we want to change our scene and make sure that at the top you have added this using unit engine dot scene management we already did that in our previous video so make sure that you didn't skip that step now we will say load scene and let's check our scene name so if you go inside the classic city we have this scene underscore day let's open this up okay right here we have all of our track okay and first of all let's go inside the build settings right here 
as you can see when the game start we will first of all show the garage scene so make sure that at the top you added the garage scene and then add the scene underscore day right there and you can add different scenes at accordingly okay if you have the end game scene okay then you can add that after the same day so make sure that you add all of that according to the file and build settings right there so now its name is scene underscore day okay now after this right here in the start function the we will set the current card to the player preps dot get integer and let's pass the card selected that's it now we need to add this car selection script somewhere else as well if you see the garage scene right here on the player spawn area we have added this car selection script okay so we need to add this script right here in the scene day as well on this player car spawn area so that this uh, player's uh, car spawn area also keep the track of which car the user select on the garage scene and then it will basically activate that car right here as well so let's simply add the script right here and now you will be thinking that what we will do with our next button and previous button for this right here inside our player canvas we will create a ui button and let's name this as known usable but important and it is important okay and what we will do with this we will make the color of it fully transparent and also we will remove the text on there as well that's it and then what we will do we will simply disable it and now if we click on layer spawn area let's try and put that in there that's it now let's get back to the gear art scene right here we have the button assigned because it has the uh, next and previous button now we have the play button right there let's click on this play button and let's add an on click event there let's drag and drop the clear cast spawn area and then let's select the play game function right there that's it now if we play the game as you can see the first card is selected right here now if we try to change the card as you can see there are different cards and as you know that if we close the game and then play the game again it will not select the black card okay it will still select this first car because we didn't play the game on this car so now if we select this car and click on the play button you will notice that this car will be spawned right there as well as you will see and now we can race on this car okay so now if we close the game let's play the game again and now as you can see this car is now selected now if we try to change let's select this first one let's click play and now we can play the game on this car as well okay we are racing now on this car now if you try to close this game okay and let's play this again you will notice that now that car will be stored inside the memory as you can see so i hope you understand how all of this works you can just re-watch this videos so if you didn't get how all of these things will work okay you can just re-watch all of the videos and now in the next video we will add that camera animation so when the game start we want to show a little bit of animation and then after that we will show the car selection area so for that catch you guys in the next video